Hello from Epcot. It has been a very long time since we've been here, so we thought maybe it's been a while for you too. We're gonna go walk around, take a look at some of the new stuff, and have a good time. Come along with us. So one of the things happening right now is the Flower and Garden Festival. We didn't actually come and check out anything here. We've been super busy, so I think we're gonna go check out some of that. We're also gonna take a look at Moana. So walking over near Creations, all the work walls here are down. There's Daisy out there. So all of this is brand new. It's not brand new like it just opened like yesterday, but we haven't been here in a while. This is nice to see. They've got all this nice seating out here. I do wish there was a little bit more shade. This is super nice. And I think these at night, from what I've seen online, I think these all light up. Oh, look at Figment. Hi, Pluto, how are you? Did Mickey give you lots of treats today? Were they good? You are looking extra adorable today. It is always a good day when you get to see Pluto. Here's a wide angle shot of this new area. It's very, very peaceful. The music is very, very tranquil. It's also like in ways very dramatic. You almost feel like you're in your own Disney movie. Okay, I really love this area. This is neat. What is this? I don't know what this is. It's some sort of sculpture. Look at all the greenery they have. Oh, we got some butterflies flying. I feel like I'm in a Disney movie. This has kind of a little bit of a slope to it. And there is this area over here. Walt Disney himself, look at that. This is incredible because this was Walt's dream and now he gets to sit here and look at it all day. Okay, so that is kind of a quick tour of this new area. We're going to go over to Creations and see what new merchandise we have. So progress is happening here. Looks like this is gonna be Mickey and friends, like a meetup spot. What is this, Communicore Hall? I'm excited. I wonder when this is coming down. Because as exciting as it is to see work walls, because that means new things are coming, walking around Epcot was a challenge sometimes. Okay, so this is brand new. Journey of Water, we've never done this. I don't know why it's taken us this long, but I'm excited. Okay, we're learning about the water cycle. I like that. I have to try it. I am obsessed. This is all I want to do now. Hey, can you play some Taylor Swift? If you can play Taylor Swift, I'll be super impressed. Try it. We're gonna try that like when it's not busy. Look at all of the plants. It's so pretty back here. It's kind of funny because Epcot is not to me very tropical but when you walk in here look at this we've got a stream up here I don't know what that does let's find out stand on it and wave in front of the stream okay so everybody likes options there's a dry path and then there's a path Walk on a little stream here. Yeah, I feel like you need to be careful on that, depending on the shoe you have. Yeah, you got into work. 
That is so sweet. Okay, so we have another dry path. If you move slowly, this waterfall might open for you. Challenge accepted. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm super curious where they got the plumerias from because these things take forever to grow. There she is, Safiti. That looks so good. This looks so peaceful. This is what I would want our swimming pool to look like. Look how cool this is. Look at all the water jumping. Okay, we're moving into ocean. Okay, Taylor has the eye for this stuff because I didn't even notice this. It's a big wave and then... Little Moana with a pumpkin. Little Moana. The Kakamoras are squirting out water. This reminds me of those old fountains by Figment. Taylor just found this. Moana is right here. I don't think I would have ever seen that. Moana. And her staff. Her whole body. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's her whole body. That's her hair. That is super cool. I think you're hitting that one. Alright, let's go. Here's the sky. That's the conch shell. Oh, you're right. There's the Moana's conch shell. Cold, cold thing. So we're using mist to almost make it look like it's the clouds. That's pretty clever. All right, that is Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. And what's cool about this is right over here, there is a meet and greet. Looks like Moana is out doing a meet and greet here. We have just walked into the land here. We're going to go to the Living with the Land boat ride. There's a few changes. They're pretty subtle, but I do want to show them to you because it's kind of fun. There's some Easter eggs that we need to look out for. Hey there, we're going to be doing some voiceovers for this because I don't like talking on rides. One of the first things you're going to notice is this scene is much darker. Now we've bumped up the brightness in this a little bit so you can see it easier. We also noticed in these scenes here, it seemed to be like there was a little bit more of a blue light didn't seem so blue before. Nothing's changed in this scene, but it is one of my favorites. It is actually my favorite scene in Living with the Land, so I put it in. Going out into the greenhouse, we're gonna see a majority of the changes. They've put these little scenes out, and this first one is Little Mermaid. Moving right along, we have a wishing well here because this is Snow White. There's an apple pie, there's some apples. On the other side, we've got a pickaxe, some jewels, and a lantern. The next theme is gonna be Winnie the Pooh, and if you look at all the flower pots, they're modeled after some of the characters. We've also got the honey pot. Next to Rabbit's garden over here, we've got a hidden Mickey pumpkin. Last but not least, we have Taylor's favorite, Alice in Wonderland. You can see here they're painting the roses red. Coming up, we have a mad tea party. This is a super cool display that they did. In the next scene, we have the Cheshire Cat, and it's supposed to look like he's hiding in the plant. So today, we're not going to go into World Showcase. We just don't have time today, but... One of the things that I always love is the butterfly exhibit. So we're gonna go in there and take a look at some butterflies. Here we are. I'm gonna to try to get some cool shots here for you guys. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do. 
Okay, I think I'm doing pretty well. Look at this one. So we got a pineapple Dole Whip and it's got pineapple Fanta in it. It's very hot outside, so we're gonna try this here. Very pineapple-y. This is really, really good. This is, so it's just a normal Dole Whip, but they've got the pineapple Fanta and I think that's what really makes it. Although these straws don't work for it. I recommend a spoon to like stir it up. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. So this is a new space that just opened and we've got Spaceship Earth. I'm very excited to see what it looks like when all the work walls are down. It's much easier, I've noticed, even this trip to navigate. I, I like that. Taylor said it, it feels like Central Park in New York, but futuristic. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed a fun day at Epcot with us. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.